And good afternoon, everybody. Good evening. This is Warp 103 bringing another video. This time here, we are in the SU 100M1. So sit back, relax, and of course, enjoy the show. I'm gonna have to rain down a godly fucking firestorm on you. Now, this is for the fair warning for everybody for that. On Friday, we will be um, doing our partnership with Wargaming, which we will be giving out. And again, the code is going to be released on on Friday. When that code is released and everything else to that, it'll be available for two days for you to be able to put that code in and again, get some sweet, sweet personal reserves. And of course, if you've been following it for the full month and everything else, of course, at that point, you're nearing the end and you should actually be able to get getting XP of, um, on your individual tanks. So that's sweet. And the other thing I want to announce is, that it, you know, I've been thinking about it for a while. So that um, I'm almost I'm almost in the neighborhood where I can get um, up to 250 um, subs. So if I do get 250 by Friday and everything else, I will be giving up 500 gold to try to make that even sweeter. I've been talking about this on Twitch, but I forgot to actually been putting it in my YouTube video, which is dumb. But sometimes I don't remember these things. And then my, um, my wife reminded me about this like this, like, oh, you forgot to put in a YouTube video too. I'm like, dude. So, and if I get up to 250 subs, I will be getting out um, an additional of my own money and everything else and that not from war gaming so that you'll get 500 and gold now it's not a lot of gold but it's not a really a high a high reward and everything else that so i'm just making sure everybody knows about it and you know if it'd be perfect synergy if both things can happen at both times so everybody because they're going to be watching anyway that they can actually get gold as well to make it just that much sweeter so back to this gameplay here. Now, as you can see right now, now I want you to see what the 50 TP is. Now, I I'm gonna say this right away. The 50 TP is literally gonna cost us this game. I'm gonna get that out of the way from the jump street. This game is gonna be beautiful, but this guy is basically gonna just screw us in the end. All right, now, you see what I'm doing right here? I'm getting up close right here to see if I can actually spy. I'm basically put, I'm a TD. I'm putting my tank in jeopardy. Now, again, this is not something that I recommend people do. Um, it's a TD. Oof, and that hurt, but, oh, and ammo rack. So I'm ammo racks, my driver's dead, okay. So again, now I want you to see what I'm doing and watch, talk about the 45 TP. Now, again, this is something that, I, you know, you, you, you gotta be able to to be in the stuff and be like, okay, stuff happens, ooh. He's in the middle right there, come on, one more shot. No, 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 Murray Lil, no, no. Ooh, got him. Nice. And now again, I'm in harm's way. I'm pushing it, even though I'm firing from the bush and everything else, so they're trying to maximize my thing. Now I'm hitting a black pinch in the in the head. Um, I'm trying to hit on the left side, which is his right. Um, there's a space right there that you can hit to actually go through. But since he's this far up now, I can definitely just put shots right into his body. Don't go away. That's one more. Come on, come on. We can do this. And no ah, man, just miss it. So I'm getting spotting done and everything else of that. Now you can see our team is on the far side and basically doing nothing. You know, no spotting, we're down already three tanks. Why? All right? So we got another guy over here. Now, I want you to keep this in mind. This is a stock tank. This tank is not upgraded. I don't have the engine. I don't have the tracks. I don't have the next gun up. So a lot of people complain it's like that. Well, stock tanks are bad. Well, yes, in a way, but if you have at least a, 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 a semi-decent crew inside of it, a stock tank can still do what it needs to do. Now, are all stock tanks can do this? No. You see the amount of gold that I have loaded for this reason? Yes, I know I have 175 normal pin on it, but 
I've been in battles where tier 8s where that 175 is just not enough. That's the reason why they upgraded a lot of the um, Russian tanks that had 175 pin for that same reason. They weren't able to actually pin a lot of um, their same tier and definitely not tier 9s. So you have to look at what you can do now. You see me going back and forth. I'm not trying to get strafed. I'm trying to do my best to see if I can spot these guys. Now again, I'm not a light tank. I'm not a, uh, a traditional scout tank. So what you're seeing me doing scouting can be done in any tank, but you, again, this is risk reward. You're putting yourself in jeopardy to try to get that maximum reward. And I got spotted again and I'm pulling back. So I'm like, okay, well he's going in. I gotta help him. If not, he's dead and all right to the head. Come on, come on, come on. He's gonna, oh. And it's smack bar artillery. Okay, so we're back in this. But note that everybody on the two line is dead. This is the story of my life. It's like, you know, the other side, you're like, okay, we're doing well on this side. We, the other side, all they need to do is hold and they don't hold. They're dead. So now we already know they're coming over because our artillery is dead. Uh, Leo is on the far side trying to scope out. And again, this is the same thing. Use the bush mechanics. They're there for a reason. Now, again, not all bushes work right. I wish they all did, but this one actually works. So again, I'm I'm a TD, but I'm doing scout roll. Now we have a medium that's over there that should be doing scouting, but actually not. Okay. Now again, every time I turn my stuff and everything else, that I don't have a turret, so this is basically horrendous for me because we have to sit there and like, okay, I have a spot and look, and poof, our medium tank just got executed. Why? Your medium tank. This is not really the place he should be at. Of all places, he should be somewhere in the middle or where the the Leo is and helping out over there. So this guy is fast and ooh, tracked him. That tracking was crucial. Cause if he didn't get tracked, this game would have been open so much faster than this. Now you see they're crawling over here and I'm like, uh-oh, I've got spotted, I'm dead. I only got 260 health. Let me pull back. And then I realized I don't have artillery. So all I gotta do is pull back far enough where they can't get a decent hit on my lower plate. So, Again, you go into the bush, you try and abuse that mechanic. He's in the bush too, but oh, no, 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 no. Sir, thank you very much. Now, you again, you, you might be saying, but your girl spamming noob. Yes, I'm used to be the same person say, okay, don't spam gold, don't spam gold. I'm over that fact because, again, I'm using the bottom tier gun, I'm stuck. I need every advantage that I have. Now, could I pin this guy without using gold? Sure, but that would take an extra second, which of course, unfortunately, and most of the time, when I try to fat finger it and keep my eyes on the action, I end up hitting the three key, and basically I load HE instead of loading regular rounds. Now, you might think, well, that's not, that doesn't really happen. No, it happens to me so many times. I literally, I was in a battle today, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to switch back to regular ammunition. And guess what happens? I load HE and it basically costs me the match. So from this point forward, it's like if I have the wrong amp, if I have gold loaded, until I can get a clear instance of being able to switch back where I can look down at the keyboard like this, I'm not doing it. Now, Super Hellcat is left. <coughs> He's running away. I'm already at 3000 damage. Okay, there's four of us two of them now we know the challenge was last in the corner we already know that if they do anything you now that you the challenges on the three line you know good as well that either a they're going to go um in the area for um the two lines so they can get bushed up or they're going to sit in the middle now the challenge challenge is still spotted you see me leaving the hill the leo is already off the hill what the actual f is going on with the other guys. Now, I rig up a platoon. 
I am literally in chat telling these guys what I am doing. That way there, we all are on the same road. Again, I'm using voice chat, letting them know, okay, I'm gonna do this. You know, I'm gonna try to spot from here. The Leo said, um, he said he, what he was gonna do. So we all are on comms, game comm. Now again, the game comm is not the best, but it's still something we can all use. Now, notice how all three of us are moving in unison. Now, common sense would tell you to tell the 50 TP to actually help so we would have numbers. He can't see, he's blind as an absolute freaking bat. What the actual heck does he think he's gonna do from there? Now notice, I get to the bush, I let my binoculars kick in before I move out to the next location. Now, I always, I'm telling the guys in the chat that, okay, stay here, I'm going over here I told Lilio to stay, to ping the map, and also said in voice comms, this is where I'm going. Again, I get to a bush, stop, let my binos come back up before I move again, see if I can see anything, and again, then I start moving forward again. Bush, classic bush hopping, classic things, and again. Now, look where I'm at, 45 TP, literally. I'm a one shot, he's a one shot, he's a one shot. The 50 TP has the, the most health out of all of us. And he, what is he doing? Nothing. This is what absolutely kills the game. You have guys that just don't want to play. And again, if you don't wanna play, why are you in this game? Why? What possible thing you else you're gonna do? You're heavy. The other guys are TD, so again, their camo is gonna be way better and everything else. That we're split up. We're all trying to get to the situation where we can actually spot them. Now, again, if this guy here, the sorry, if the um, 45 TP had came over and helped with all of the extra um, hit points he has, literally, we can stay inside his bush right here. Soon as he gets spot, now he, they spot him. They would die. Nope. Now you see me in chat. I'm saying 45 TP. What the hell? Because again, this game is really easily winnable. Perfectly winnable. All we needed was the guy to come over. Now again, I'm the most heavily armored of the guys, except for what? 50 TP. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go in. If I can spot these guys and everything else to that. Now, I was actually telling Leo to actually stay up here, but he did go down here. He was trying to get a little bit closer so he can get an angle, but actually where he's at, he can't get a real angle over the hill where this guy is. So I'm like, okay. Now, bounce one, challenger, and then bounce. Now, now the 45 TP moves off the hill. I mean, again, the one guy we needed, because again, all the rest of us are one shots. Now he moves with a, a minute 40 left. Oh, sorry, a minute 45 left. Oh, you, you, you really have to ask yourself why? Why do people do this? Now, I love the game, I really do, but there's just some things that just eat me up and this is one of those things. This is a great game, 3,000, um, sorry, 3,300 in damage, almost 2K in spotting, and I'm at tier seven. So everything in this game, theoretically going the way it's supposed to be. And again, look at the 45 TB. He's literally going back instead of coming in and spotting. The Leo is in the spot where, and then he gets spotted and then that's the game. This game is over. It, this is a loss because again, the 45 TP decided, you know. Now I'm not I'm not naming and shaming. This is this gameplay is strictly for showing your guys what you can do, what is the best option, where where to be at on maps, where to be at so you can shoot correctly. Again, you have you know when the team up when it, the thing is on the line, you're just like okay. If you have um, a microphone, 
you platoon up for the last seconds and say, okay, look, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. If you can do everything as a group, it's an easy win. Well, again, hopefully you enjoyed and everything else of that. This is Warp on the Three saying Warp out, have fun. Here comes the end plate. Well, you just seen mission 15 completed. It should have been a win, but our 40 TP just basically just effed us all because he winded like a little B because he was like, well, you didn't have me in the beginning. Dude, we are TDs. Really? That's what we do. That's TDs are in the back and we did everything. If you only had came on help, so all of us can go in at one time. No, mm. but that's okay though. So let's hit continue again. Got that barracks. Love it. Engine blueprint. And of course, female crew member. Nice. Of course, the mastery badge, which is always good. Continue. Oh, and TD mission number eight for the 55A complete as well. Huge caliber. Nice. Two birds, two birds, one stone. Love it. Mm -hmm. Master. Mm. Delicious. Oh, delicious. Oof. High caliber. Literally, this should have been a win. Except for this guy here, just basically went AFK for the last part, and it's like. Then he went a wine like it. But anyway, okay. So, oof, oof, oof. That feels so good. Ooh, love it. And of course, now again, this is considered a loss, and I can't even hit the bonus thing for it. Sad boy hours. I take that as a so with him saying run along i'm gonna say this is warp one three saying warp out have fun we'll catch you on the next one please hit the like subscribe button it really helps your channel out until then catch you later. <laughs>